Hi everyone, Chad here. You're watching the Nomadic Scooter channel on YouTube. I've got back out my Jison EB7 bike I bought off Amazon a few weeks ago. I had it out in Moab, Utah. Uh, drove 360 miles from Moab, Utah up here to the State Forest State Park, uh, just north of Denver, Colorado. And like I say, it was only 360 miles. Right now we're at a 9,500 foot elevation. It's in the 70s, absolutely beautiful out. Right now I'm at the, this is the uh, American Lakes Trail. It's five and a half miles. I'm gonna take the bike out today and I'm gonna take it for a ride and try it out on some of these uh, backcountry uh, bike trails. This is one of 40 something trails in a couple hundred mile uh, area. So if you're new to the channel, uh, I unbox, I ride electric vehicles, uh, electric unicycles, PEVs, personal electric vehicles, electric bikes, and uh, I like to ride them in different locations. So if you haven't already hit like, hit subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to put the GoPro on. Uh, just... Okay, just coming onto the uh, American Trail now. And uh, I'm going to go into first gear because we got a pretty steep climb first coming onto this trail. I'm in power assist two. And, uh, oh, I mean, this thing just climbs you right up the hills. This fat tire e-bike right over all this. This is some pretty good rock. And uh, I wasn't looking forward to riding it this morning at first, but wow, look at this rock. This bike is just going right over it all. This power assist is incredible. And like I say, this is a fat tire bike. This is one of the reasons I got it. Now this is a very steep grade with all this rock and it's no problem at all. I am not a professional bicyclist. This is my maybe second or third time riding a bike in about 10 years. And you can probably hear the electric motor just uh, working away. I'm only in a uh, power assist three. And I'm gonna stop so you can see how steep this grade is and turn around. Now, if you can see how steep that is. So we just did a very steep climb up this trail. No problem at all. Like I say, right here on your uh, right hand side, you've got uh, power if you don't wanna pedal. Look at that. You've got full electric motor. So. Okay, I'll go into second gear now and I'm going to drop the assist to one so I can get some up to two. Wow, this is what I bought this bike for. This is just absolutely beautiful up here. I was roasting out in the desert out in Moab, Utah. So if you're new to the channel and you just started watching, maybe you were uh, on Amazon looking at this bike and uh, you're checking out some of the YouTube videos. I, uh, I ride electric scooters, different personal electric vehicles, uh, EUCs, electric unicycles, in different locations around the country. Uh, state parks, cities, uh, I just find places, I didn't even find about find out about this place until I left Moab. I left Moab, Utah. I drove to, oh, here's some people. I left Moab, Utah, drove to a Starbucks, started looking at a map at uh, state parks. Hi, how you guys doing? Ah, it's steep. <laughs> oh, this rock. Yeah. Okay, right, here we go. Whew. All right. There's all this heavy rock in here. Oh my goodness. This is so steep and this bike just goes right up it. Between the electric motor and the pedals, you can pretty much climb right up anything. And you're not killing yourself doing it. So so yeah, I left uh, Moab, Utah, started driving on the 70s towards Colorado, towards Denver. 
went to a Starbucks and uh, started looking at state parks and came across this place. And uh, there's hundreds of miles of trails up here that go all over. So there's different trail entrances in this whole region. And you go to the Moose Visitor Center, you get yourself a map, and you'll know exactly where you are. Sorry I'm a little winded. I'm vlogging while pedaling this bike up this very, very steep hill. I don't know if you can see how steep this is. Okay, so I'm a little out of breath. <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching this episode, taking out the Jason EP7 on uh, this trail, the American Lakes Trail up here, uh, just north of Denver, Colorado. Want to talk to you real quick about safety. Just remember, when you come out to places like this, there is no cell phone reception. So it's very important. I have the spot messaging device. Uh, with this, I can, uh, it's a satellite. It does not, it uses GPS satellites. The subscription is about 200 a year, but what's great about this is no matter where you are, as long as you have a clear view of the sky, you can send a signal. So put some of your favorite contacts in here. There's SOS for emergencies. And uh, I really highly recommend uh, to get one of these when you come out to these areas because there is no cell phone uh, reception. Also remember, pay your state park fees. Stop by the visitor center or find out when you visit state parks where you can pay your fees. That allows uh, a ranger, when he's coming through here and sees vehicles, he can see when you are supposed to leave. If you don't pay your state park fees and you just come in here and then you go wandering out over tens or hundreds of miles of trails, these connect all over through hundreds of miles and you get yourself lost out there and you don't have water and you don't have a way to communicate with anybody, no one is gonna know that you are out there. So always stop by, announce yourself at the visitor center and let people know that you're here. Buy your, buy your fees and your, your permits. My, it was only like $25 for three days. That way, uh, if, if you do get lost or something happens, you uh, break your leg, fall off into a ditch, um, can't crawl out or something happens, when the park ranger comes by, sees your vehicle and sees, oh, you were supposed to leave two days ago, he might still be out there. So always remember, be safe and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching this episode, and uh, if you haven't already, please consider hitting like and hitting subscribe. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye now.